Welcome to the Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa, also known as CJTF HOA. With about 500 assigned personnel, we perform a variety of military activities that promote regional stability and prosperity throughout East Africa. The CJTF HOA area of operations is nearly half the size of the United States and includes the countries of Burundi, Djibouti, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Kenya, Rwanda, Seychelles, Somalia, Tanzania, and Uganda. Specifically, our task force supports partner nations and regional organizations, encouraging them to possess the will, capability, and capacity to combat transnational threats, execute effective peace operations, and respond to crises. We are also prepared to execute and provide support to crisis response and limited contingency operations in order to protect U.S. military, diplomatic and civilian personnel, facilities, and interests in our area of responsibility. Through unified action with U.S. and international partners in East Africa, CJTF HOA participates in operations that support aligned regional efforts, thus ensuring regional access and freedom of movement and protection of U.S. and partner nation interests. In addition to our East African partners, other international partners include France, Germany, Italy, Japan, South Korea, Spain, and the United Kingdom. We work with them daily and many have liaison officers on our staff to accomplish shared goals in the region. The country of Djibouti provides a strategic location for our CJTF HOA headquarters, as just off the coast of northeastern Djibouti is the Bab El Mandeb Strait, a global choke point for maritime shipping. It is estimated that about 15% of all global shipping passes through this strait. Djibouti also borders Somalia, the primary focus of CJTF HOA's current efforts. In addition, Djibouti is across the Gulf of Aden from Yemen, which is in the U.S. Central Command area of responsibility. Other nations like China, France, Italy, and Japan also recognize our host country's strategic location and have also established bases in Djibouti. Djibouti's location is a key reason for U.S. presence in Camp Limanye, the only enduring U.S. installation on the continent of Africa. The Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa is one of more than 20 tenant units based on Camp Limanye. The camp started with the original facilities of an old French Foreign Legion base and has steadily grown over the years. Now, Camp Libigny has about 4,300 residents and includes military service members and civilian contractors. It is one of the largest employers locally, with just over 1,000 Djiboutian employees on staff. We expect that the camp will continue to grow in the future. In recent years, the Department of Defense has spent over $500 million on an array of facilities and construction projects at Camp Limanye, a strong signal of the U.S.'s commitment to staying in Djibouti for the long term. The facilities include aircraft hangars and taxiways, a water production and distribution center, a wastewater treatment plant, and many other smaller projects. Since the beginning of our mission here, CJTF HOA personnel have committed to being good neighbors. The task force has built schools, clinics, and hospitals, drilled and refurbished more than 113 water wells, and trained and exercised in collaboration with partner nation militaries focusing on defense, diplomacy, and development. Be able to pass it on to the next team. Additionally, members of this task force assisted with various humanitarian missions, which not only directly help those in need in this region, but also offer a valuable way to build relationships with regional leaders and maintain access for operations. The Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa was formed following the tragedy of September 11, 2001. CJTF HOA was established at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, 
on October 19, 2002, with the primary mission under U.S. Central Command to assist with effort associated Operation Enduring Freedom, targeting terrorists throughout the region. In November 2002, U.S. military personnel embarked to the region aboard the USS Mount Whitney, where they would stay until May 13, 2003, when the mission moved ashore to Camp Lumineer. Here, they eventually also acquired an anti-piracy mission. On October 1, 2008, responsibility for the task force was transferred from the United States Central Command to the newly formed United States Africa Command. Also in 2008, the European Union Naval Force Somalia was created to counter piracy off of Africa's east coast, allowing CJTF HOA to transition out of that role. Under U.S. AFRICOM, CJTF HOA has concentrated on a whole-of-government approach, focusing on security cooperation activities, U.S. military access and acceptance, and building partner nation trust and confidence. At this time, the Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa's main line of effort is to neutralize Al-Shabaab and transition responsibility for security in Somalia from the African Union mission in Somalia, AMISOM, to the federal government of Somalia. This effort consists of creating a stable security environment in East Africa by assisting partner countries in their military efforts against the violent extremist organizations, Al-Shabaab and the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, until they can no longer threaten U.S. and African personnel and facilities in the region. As the primary line of effort, it also means resources are directed towards developing East African military peacekeeping capability with a focus on AMISOM troop contributing countries. The troop contributing countries are a coalition of five African countries, Burundi, Djibouti, Ethiopia, Kenya, and Uganda, that provide support to the federal government of Somalia to create stability in the area. CJTF HOA reports to U.S. Africa Command and has many of the same directorates and functions expected of a headquarters. However, it also has several core tasks and assigned units that are not found in every combined joint task force. It's United not. States Army Civil Affairs soldiers assigned to the Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa are the Department of Defense's primary force specifically trained to work through and with host nations, regional partners, and indigenous populations. Civil Affairs soldiers are the commander's dedicated force who purposefully engage the military, government institutions, non-governmental organizations, and the local populations. The East Africa Response Force, or EARTH, assigned to the Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa at Camp Limigné, provides the commander of U.S. Africa Command an additional capability to respond to crises and contingencies throughout the region. The EARTH has an array of responsive capabilities forward postured in the Horn of Africa to support requests for military assistance during crises or to support interagency partners. Most recently, the IRF's primary focus has been on readiness and capability to secure U.S. embassies and diplomatic missions when called upon during a crisis. CJTF HOA is designated as Base Operating Support Integrator for locations throughout Somalia. BOSI typically includes Communications Integrator, Senior Airfield Authority, Tactical Control for Force Protection, Installation Commander Duties. Boss I is currently run by CJTF HOA's Logistics Directorate and coordinates the efficient use of mission support resources to sustain U.S. forces in forward operating locations. The task force responded to the requirement by creating a special office within the Logistics Directorate that absorbed and streamlined various capabilities and manpower across the command. The small, dedicated team of tactical logisticians provide direct support to U.S. personnel downrange who are currently advising and assisting Somali national security forces and other partner nations. United States Naval Construction Battalions, better known as the Seabees, form the Naval Construction Force of the United States Navy. The Seabees represent a battalion of construction tradesmen that are capable of any type of construction, anywhere needed, under any conditions or circumstance. Members of the Naval Mobile Construction Battalion, deployed with the Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa, use their specialized construction-based skill sets to help create a stable and secure environment in East Africa and for members at Camp Luminier, Djibouti. The Personnel Recovery Task Force, or PRTF, 
consists of three expeditionary U.S. Air Force rescue squadrons to execute the personnel recovery and casualty evacuation missions. This task force relies on the refueling and mobility capability of the HC-130 King aircraft, the armed, agile recovery capabilities of the HH-60G PAPOC helicopters, and the technical rescue expertise of the Guardian Angel ground team to provide rescue support to personnel and assist with operations throughout East Africa. The CJTF HOA area of responsibility is approximately 2.8 million square miles and the PRTF provides the reach needed to conquer Africa's tyranny of distance to rescue U.S. forces and personnel within this large area. Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa protects U.S. personnel and facilities, promotes regional stability, and facilitates access and freedom of movement with our strategic posture and presence on the continent. We develop and strengthen joint, interagency, intergovernmental, and multilateral partnerships to address mutual security concerns. It is our duty to enhance cooperation among our East African partners to promote a coordinated regional approach to regional security challenges. We assist our East African partners with countering and neutralizing violent extremist organizations like ISIS and Al-Shabaab in Somalia and throughout the region to prevent them from threatening U.S. or East African people or interests. An enduring U.S. commitment to security and stability in the region is readily apparent through Camp Lumineer's nearly two-decade-long history in Djibouti, and it is clear that U.S. commitment will endure. Once again, welcome to CJTF HOA. For this important mission to be sustained, we are steadfast in applying the principle of economy of force, striving to use all resources wisely. We are also mindful that it takes diligence and a spirit of cooperation from not only our U.S. military personnel and civilians assigned to CJTF HOA, but also from our East African and international partners for this robust mission to succeed. Security and stability in the region is our ultimate goal, and that benefits all.